Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, today I'm gonna be showing how to root this box Neo Bank. I think this is the uh, funnier box I've done for this channel. Uh, I really liked it. So to start off, I've just uh, run a Nmap scan as always. Tag PN to tell Nmap the host is already up and running. Tag SV for service version detection scan. Uh, plus, this is appended to it to just run in uh, some default scripts. Uh, tag N to disable DNS resolution. Tag V to make it verbose. And tag T5 to speed it up, right? And, um, well, I just save it. Every port. And we have a port here, right? It's, it's a workzog httpd101 that's a Python web server uh, over port 5000. So let's visit that to see what's going on in there. And we, um, uh, sorry, actually it's for uh, 5000 and it's not https, that's http. And there, there we go. So we have a login page. Um, and it's asking for an email and a pin. Let's just try basic things just to test if it's vulnerable to um, SQL injection. Sorry. Well, it's not. All right. You can test a lot of things in there. I encourage you to do that. Um, but in this case, we should just start um, passing. So let's go with that. 5000. And obviously, you usually uh, are going to try with user share their buster uh, directory. Now, world lists, world lists, their bus directory, all this stuff, right? Which is from Seclist uh, as well. Um, However, you will you won't find um, anything else in there. And whenever you do a reconnaissance phase, you should um, try more than one a um, word list, right? Like uh, raft, raft, small, raft, medium, all of them from from set lists. So let's do that and lists and we have we want um i think it's a web no let me just i think it's pausing or discovery i don't remember that yes discovery and web content from here directory listing uh but lowercase okay and what else uh medium okay so I I I'm just gonna go with uh, one thousand um, threads to speed it up because the the word we want it's uh, super almost an, at the end of it. So I'm gonna specify tag IC to ignore comments and yes, that's it. So I have a login page in there. We have a logout uh, which is giving a status two hundred. Let's just wait a bit. It's actually, even though it's specified uh, 1000, it's running with uh, a lot less, a lot less, lesser than that. Just 250 requests per second, which is not equal to um, 257, for example, uh, threads. That's different, right? I'm going to speed it up a little bit just for your commodity and the file we're looking for it's email lists or email lists i don't remember yes here's it so we can start working with this i can assure first that um if you cut this out and grip for email list it's like it's there and if you use tag n you will see the number so it's 181,181,726 position so yeah we have this we can start looking with this 
and I'm going to go with, for example, JQ to treat this. Now, uh, from here, let me, I'm not a, uh, I don't know this dial well, but it's fine. I'm just going to go with that for demonstration purposes and for ease of use. And I'm going to grab for Neobank. Right. Let me just try something here. Not necessary. So yeah, we have this um this uh email addresses. I'm gonna with TR delete every um double well apostrophe. I don't know what that what that is. I'm gonna send it to emails. Email emails. That's it. Emails. Now it's asking for a pin. Um this is a hard part. Well kind of because um only uh like trial and error a little bit and the thing is that um we can um start inferring what pin what pins can we use here now um we can do several things for example we can use uh da, 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 for example um let me just see. We can use use sure or list uh, rock you and grab only. I'm gonna use egrep only for all of those that begins with a number from zero to nine, then have something in the middle and ends with another number. So of you obviously there will be some um string that is like one two three a b c one two three that's okay though like this and we'll get a lot of them let's save it first to a possible pins file okay and from here it's just brute forcing now we have a, a, an issue here is that if we use inspect and we go to our network tab um we send a request we'll see how it's been Treated request like that, but the thing is, uh, we're not seeing any message, right? Like, um, uh, wrong credentials or wrong username or password or whatever, but we're getting a cookie, right? However, I think, uh, maybe this is because I already tried it. And it's given me a cookie to show the message because this is actually a jot cookie a jot one however um it's like damaged or something so if i send it login then it creates a cookie and if we Try to do it in jot.io. I kind of slow today. Let's see it right here. It's saying 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 flashes message wrong email or pen, which is kind of interesting right but however there's a method in which we can uh brute force just be just to, just just for you to know hydra will not work here because of this we do not have a distinguishable method to uh say this is a right password this is not we cannot so in this moment we all need to write um script ourselves a script right to craft ourselves a script that's a better expression so let's go with that i'm gonna create brute forcer that pi we're gonna be working with that we'll be using bin bash i'm gonna be for the pythonic way sake a uh, if name equals main <clears throat> uh, i'm gonna be executing main and main here um we're gonna be executing exploit some people use like main just to create the exploit function but i think this is better like it's, be it's better like this so dev exploit let me actually 
add a dev here and um we can start with that now so first things first you can import or request module a says and signal because i'll be using um uh, well signal it's because i will be using the dev um i think it was well let's create a handler this is to be able to being able to press ctrl c and exit out of the program without without seeing any error message or exceptions and um we can create a here at sick frame well actually there it could be whatever name you want and let's just print like exiting right like this and this another one here and then sys exit and zero zero is the status code associated in linux for a successful exit i mean the program did, did, didn't uh, stop working because of an error but because of we wanted to right so um now we need we need to call it right so we need to use signal that signal signal that second and handler let me just fix this uh parenthesis and cool we're cool now at this point i'm gonna be also defining some variables for the exploit to work i'm gonna define variables here and um url of course http uh i have to it no <laughs> i thought i have it copy it so 192 168 156 oh 56 and 116 i think it was no 112 and 5000 and login right uh, what else? Uh, thing, nothing else for the moment, at least. So cool. And now, in order to define our exploit, um, we want to get an email and a pen, okay? Which we're gonna define later. But in the meantime, we can tell we can tell Python to um define a data via this email how is this remember because we're handling here uh let me check this and request right here and if i click raw this is these two are the parameters that are being sent over post right so i can say email email comma pen pen that's the data will be sending now i want to create a session just to keep track of my uh, of my cookies i request that session that's the way we define it and then r is going to be s from session post to your rail and data equals data that's going to be it now the method to identify if we are uh, actually getting a, a, a correct uh, login is this one we're gonna Evaluate if the land of r dot cookie equals one. If it does, then for example, we can return true. Now I like to uh, uh play with um on tools. Uh, progress bar. We'll do that, but later, right? And for that, we need to import everything from pom and if you didn't have stall it please go ahead and google it it's actually pretty easy so yes now how are we gonna get this exploit up and running um first off let's uh use the argument handler because if the number of arguments provided isn't equal to three something's gonna happen and i'm gonna print f i'm gonna say yo usage uh python 3 uh sys dot rgv 
uh one no zero actually which is the very name the very name of the program that's the very first argument and then email list is going to be the one this is just text obviously and n list cool and i'm going to exit with a SARS code of zero now here's the thing emails is going to be um uh, now email list is going to be open let's open let's open some file on read mode what file is that well it says rgv1 in this case and in list is going to be open um same thing if this rgv2 and then an r right um now we we need to read its lines right so email for example lines is equal to email list dot read lines like this and same thing here it's going to be in lines is equal to in list uh that read lines that's it cool but now we need to strip uh the new line because otherwise it's going to be like this is the first pin this is the second pin third pin but it's going to be like this right and and so on and so forth we don't don't we don't want that so we need to find a method to uh, strip that out in the most uh, up, up to, like optimal way given that um, this is a pretty big list there are like two million pins that's crazy right now um i i googled it and stack overflow gave me the answer thanks god and this is apparently the most e efficient way, right? So I uh, as in enumerate that's a uh, built-in function, and let's read email lines, okay? And then I'm gonna say um, email lines index i is equal to s dot strip. Same thing here for pins for i comma s in enumerate and lines um and lines index i it's uh, s that's trip cool i think that's pretty straightforward uh for now um and then we can just go with um a for loop to execute our, our uh, exploit so now i want to for example i'm gonna go ahead and create my progress bar like lock that progress and i'm gonna say brute forcing okay that's the, that's gonna be the name and then i'm gonna be i'm gonna be saying for pin in pin list because i want to try first for every pin a list of um of uh email addresses not the other way around right so for pin and pin list i'm gonna say do something which is for email in email list do something which is <laughs> at the same time first of all p1 that status because i want to see this up running every time it runs so trying with email pin right by the way i'm gonna just uh, zoom it up for you to see my more uh, clear clearer and yeah okay so here's the thing now i'm gonna when, whenever you do this uh in order to evaluate if some if if a function is true it has to execute it right so it's already executing it so if exploit and let's pass it email and pin 
oh, sorry, e email and pin, then remember we are uh, returning true. So if true, I want you to remove uh, from email list that remove my email because it's already resolved. I don't need it anymore. And and pin list pin list. Uh, let's create a. Uh, oh, I, I forgot the number of this. <laughs> so X for X in pin list. If the land of X is equal or higher than land of pin. Let me remove this. What this will do is basically okay. It's 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 actually um brute, brute forcing and looking for a um a um a eight digit pin, then nine digit because it's all random, right? Now when the program finds a um a a valid pin, for example, five digits, then it's gonna it's, it's basically uh, update this list pin list and say okay pin list will all will only contain numbers with that length right five lengths that way we'll be discarding any pin that is uh longer or uh, or have uh less digits than the the ones the web application is looking for right so this should work now let me see here because we want to uh whenever we have a valid combination we want to use a log that success and say valid email and that's it obviously we need to add the f to the f string and i think that would be all for this time now Again, there will be a lot, a lot, a lot of them, like Python 3. Brute forcing, what, what happens when we go with that usage, right? So emails and pin. Actually, we, we uh, missed a square bracket here, but doesn't matter. Possible pins, and it's going to begin executing it. And I don't know what happened there. Let me check that. So it started brute forcing um pin list pin lines for pin pin lines for email and email list hmm actually email lines yeah we we want to pin lines instead of in email list email lines was it yes i think that's your yes look at that oh let me just uh here go back to my to the correct network interface let's go with that and look at that now unfortunately we cannot well, uh, at least as, as as we tried, we cannot run any um, any um. Oh, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> we cannot run uh, threats because the page will uh will go down basically. But this is a this is a method to do that. Now I can uh like um. Let me Tmux. I forgot it. Um, I can um, assure you that this will take a really long time now. Uh, the actual number of um, of digits uh, these pins have is six digits. Okay, so we can do that. Like possible pins and grab oh let me remember that a rip it was it was like this 
I don't remember that much. Mm. We can Google it though. Like, uh, grab string with certain uh, length. Maybe. Probably one of these will help. Yes, yeah, probably like that. Probably like uh, six, maybe. Let me check that. No. Nope. Oh, cool. So I think I, I need to escape those. <laughs> Apparently, no. Uh, okay. Maybe a dot just to tell everything. Like, nope, oh, that's not work. Oh, with X. Look at that. So with that uh, way of doing it, we are getting basically um, a lot of, well, every possible pin in that, in, in the Roku.txt that has six digits. And we have 390,529 possibilities. But that's better, right? Better than... 2,346,744 options. <laughs> That's definitely better for sure. So it's punch possible pins. Now we have 390. And we can run it again. Um, Let me check this. Actually, well, in order to speed it up again, uh, this, this will give the, the very same result every option you have the, the difference is that i'm recording obviously a um a walkthrough video here right but um i want to possible pin sort it out check probably for any um well if there are any nope any repeated number but that's okay and let's just sort it in sponge why is this because I, I remember one of the pins of or some of them are um are uh in the in the very same first position. Fuck. So that so Python three brute forcer emails possible pins and like this. We can start um brute forcing again. Let me go back to uh to the correct uh, <laughs> network adapter uh, let's let's hit it so probably i will be pausing this video until um until i have it uh and actually i wanna take the time for this and yes that's it let me check something yes cool 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 i'm gonna be stopping it not until it 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 it, it stops completely but until I have more or less four or five just just for UDC, right? So I think that. Uh, see you later. All right, guys. I had to do some changes to the world list because it was taking a lot more time that I have right now to record the <laughs> video, and we had an error here um, in regards to the. It was not email list, but email lines. I think. I think that's here uh, but anyway we had a valid pin here right so the the script works if you have any other error uh, feel free to troubleshoot it stack over uh, stack over well will be a great help and we can hear now uh login now so now we're greeted with a two-factor authentication now if you remember I think we saw that, that we can user share their buster 
Wall Labs directory medium. We'll see there's a page called QR. I don't know if you guys saw it before. I remember, to be honest. We can wait a bit though. But yes, we'll, we'll, I'll show you later that. Um, and we have a QR here. So this is pretty much like a bank. We can basically uh, well do a lot of things. Um, obviously, there are some um, QR reader on Google. But in this case, I'm going to try to um, scan it with my phone. You can try to scan it with your Google Authenticators app. Okay. Um, okay, so I have my phone here. I'm going to be uh, scanning the code. And... And the app says uh, secret saved or something like that. So now I can go back and um, let me just look at this OTP. Cool. So let me just reload this and an OTP. So I'm going to wait for my app to load the another code. and there i have it again if you try to do the uh cure scanner over google and all the stuff you will be able to do so there are plenty of python scripts out there that will work and actually let me check because it's not it's not working i mean i have it athena yeah i have it like let me the other one maybe Photo six or one one. Cool, there you are. So remember, I had this from my Google Auth app, but you can find here a QR scanner, and that will give you actually a link, which is like OTP a colon slash slash and a secret key and all this stuff. That will work too if you're gonna try and encourage you to do that. Always try harder uh, with a Python script and all this stuff. Now let's go. Uh, let's come back here. So enter the amount you want to withdraw. Let's try withdrawing one. It looks like my balance is 340. Now I have 339 minus 339. That is kind of weird. Um, let me try multiplying things. Seven times seven. It looks like it's getting executed because seven times seven is 49. And it did a, a large, uh, I didn't count it, but it did a large uh, rest right there so let me just open up my my burp suite and uh, we'll try a lot of things all right obviously since since this is a uh, um a python web server we want to try server side template injection maybe some engine template engine is being used let me try if we can find a console over here nope there is no such console and uh let me be in, let me go here burp suite to my foxy proxy let's just next start burp um let's wait a bit Cool. So, proxy. Let's send one. Here, let's control R to send it to the repeater. And we can start doing things like let's withdraw two. Now it's three minus three, three, eight. So, what's can I two plus two? Three, three, eight. There's an internal server error. Last two. 338 plus 300 minus 40 so 340 that is zero now right that is weird and now i have three there, there's like an offset of 400 or 360 i think it was that's kind of buggy right as like this function is not even ended like it's being uh 
well the developers must be still working on it but yeah so i don't know let's try to escape out of this maybe mm, this is not an accepted what about this what about this looks like it's not um plus we can do something like this or add a number here and skip it with colon, semicolon, or add, a, add an add, and then you already encoded it. No, that's not working. Uh, probably with um, these guys right here. No ID. That's not working. And at this point, I, I start thinking of, for example, um, Python command injection something like that okay let me just uh create the uh this thing once again python command injection um and i uh open up a lot of things for example here maybe some block from some bug hunter something like that for example this is block spot and i think this is the one that have the answer i ha i want because i already did the machine obviously so yes but the real um teaching here is that the answer is in google and you just have to google a little bit and try harder with that there is all there is not always that straightforward you just need to dig up a little bit further so yes let me just have this load and we'll see something interesting here. It's super slow. I don't know what's going on. And okay, too long didn't read. If you or Burp or another tool finds a Python injection with a payload like this, um, you can use the following payload. And this is interesting. I can try all of these things just just to see how the application works. Now let's try this, okay? Oh, didn't copy. Cool. Got it. So if we send this, um, will it work? Let me cancel, send it. I don't know what's going on in there. Did the server go down or? <clears throat> no. Oh, right. <laughs> I need to switch back to my network adapter. This is so fucked up, bro. For real. Anyways, we are here and we have an internal server error. So, um, that is interesting. However, there's something that's not in here that we can try. And it's pretty straightforward. You have worked with Python injections before. Like, um... Instead of popen read, because popen returns an object. Let me just confirm it's not here. Yeah, no, it's not here. I don't see it. Well, basically, you can try against, uh, instead of popen, why don't we try system? And system doesn't need a read option. And look at that. It looks like it's working. Now, there is no input, apparently, like output. Like visible to see the ID. Uh, what about if we try to ping C2 to so just to send two ICMP traces to my IP? Uh, 56101. And let me just get go back and uh, sudo TCP DOM. It's out there. TCP DOM disable DNS resolution over ETH01 and just listen for ICMP. Uh, that's it. Internal, internal server error. Right. Uh, I don't know what happened there. 
Okay. Again, system ping C1. And send it. It gives an OK. Um, let me see if that is my actual ETH. It's actually ETH0. So let's refine it one more time. ICMP. And let's send that again. And look at this. We have our ICMP echo request and a reply subsequently so cool that's pretty pretty fantastic um we have remote code execution now let's do our um reversal right off the bat try that we will need to the basic one right beam bash taxi and then bash interactive mode this one TCP 192, 168, 56, 101, over port 4444, redirection over here. And let's try that. Internal server error. Let's try to URL encode it. And it looks like it's loading. Cross fingers. There you go. We have a reverse show. That was a pretty interesting ride. Well, let's normalize it like always. See bash. Oh, let me just TT. Y raw minus echo uh, call semicolon fg reset x term and um we're here now let's export term as x term to have it control c and control l that's cool and okay so we have a linux neobank 4.19.0 to 13 amd 64 deviant um We have this. There's our IP. There's no other. Uh, obviously, <laughs> we cannot pivot. And let's check our pass LED. Grab it for SH over here. And there is one user which is Bunker. Um, which is interesting. Now, one thing I'd like to try here is uh. Let me check this templates. What's what's in here? Well, nothing. Let me see cut main.py. Um, maybe we have some hard coded credentials anywhere. Now look at this. So we have a connection to MariaDB with the user banker, which is also as you as you saw a valid user system-wide password neobank1 why don't we try to banker neobank1 first off my sql u banker banker mp neobank1 first first off right cool show databases let's use bank and let's show tables now and let's select everything from account and then from system look at that we have a lot of hashes in there i uh, think they will be super faster i mean i mean uh let me just change here because definitely i definitely want to try to break them while we go um what would me here cool so nano hashes because we already have a, a super nice and, and 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 comfortable um world list to break them i'm just gonna grab like five all right just for demonstration purposes as always and let's time it So time John hashes world list um possible pins like that. I think it'd be super fast. Okay, so now we have a system and we have a password advise me. Let's try that. That's an error. I mean, why is this uh hashed and this is not? That's weird though. 
but we, we can try uh, reusing this password to banker and there we go now we have access as banker <clears throat> now look at this we have our, your our user back clearly and um what else um well basic thing every time you do when you get a shell as a user to do tag l right now i can run it as anyone with without no password now i'm i'm curious though to see if this is like a binary we can escape out of or we can confirm this if we go to g, g get the fact out bins I like to say the whole name sounds pretty funny. So get the fact out bins, get the fact out binaries. As always, read the description, created a list of Phoenix binaries that you can escape from uh, to get a shell as the user executing it. Usually you use it when you're executing um um, um Uh, is UIDs right? So look at this. We have sudo, and we can do that. That is, that's that is interesting, right? Uh, um, this is pretty common. I thought of doing this the very first time I see it, but then I, I tried this and it worked. So cool. And um, let me just go back to my network adapter one more time. And sorry, do this. Uh, look at this this is opening a less like window so we can msh and id and root we have rooted the box look at this now we root so cd root and uh cap root.txt and there you go that's a flag super interesting so i won't continue hashing this or cracking this i mean i'm pretty sure it will eventually get it like I mean, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm confident every, every pin is on that list. I don't know, <laughs> but yeah, anyway, so that's it for all folks. I hope you guys liked it and, uh, give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you like this content and that's it for it.